This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. Next on GOP Cuisine, celebrity chef Sean Hannity's recipe for surviving Mitt Romney. Sean will show you how to survive the coming Romney presidency if you're not part of the 1%. Check out this basic substance tip. I have friends of mine that eat rice and beans all the time. Beans, protein, rice, inexpensive. If you listen to Sean, there's no need to go hungry. In fact, if you listen to Sean, you'll deny that anybody ever goes hungry anywhere. You can make a big pot of this for a week for relatively negligible amounts of money. It's perfect for people on a budget. It's even more perfect for people on a Paul Ryan budget. You should have vegetables and fruit in there as well, but... But what? There's always (laughs) some extra fruit and veggies thrown out in the dumpster behind the Whole Foods. Oh, and don't worry about the rats. Sean shows you how to use them, too. Get some cheap meat, too, and throw in there as well for protein. And best of all, you'll have no choice. You know, if you need to survive, you can survive off it. It's Sean Hannity's recipe for surviving Mitt Romney. Only on GOP Cuisine. Then stay tuned as Paula Dean shows you how to turn rice and beans into a super sweet dessert just by using a bunch <laughs> of sugar packets stolen from McDonald's when they're not looking. Remember the GOP Cuisine motto. There are ways to live really, really cheaply. You're a genius. It's our turn now. <laughs> I'm serious. This is the conversation, and it came right out of this Heritage uh, Foundation's talking points about. And, and by the way, just so you know, this is how they this is how they uh, bamboozle people. Um, it, the, the Census Bureau releases uh, its annual poverty report in 2011 about uh, 2010. Okay, the number of poor people in America in 2010, and the Census Bureau uh, released the report uh, in September of 2011, talking about 2010. And found 46.2 million persons, or one in seven Americans, were poor in 2010. Now the Heritage Foundation writes a whole bunch of paragraphs about, uh, you know, what they're going to tell you. And then they tell you, in a sentence, that the following are facts about persons defined as poor by the Census Bureau as taken from various reports, meaning they're taking the facts of 46.2 million persons or roughly one in seven Americans being poor, and they're going to now call through various reports over at the Heritage Foundation, and they're going to assign an identity to these 46.2 million people with their bogus statistics. And that's how talking points get disseminated, but they leave out that sentence. All you'll hear them say is the following are facts about persons defined as poor by the Census Bureau. But the rest of the sentence says, as taken from various reports. You see what I'm saying to you? In reality, the living conditions of those defined as poor by our own government are much different than the popular image. The, po- the following are facts about persons defined as poor by the Census Bureau. As taken from various reports. 